Oops. Oh no, what did I do? Ah, uh, I gotta be more careful with this stuff. I can't just... Ah, uh, man, I spilled it. I spilled it everywhere. Always make sure you wash your computer with plenty of water whenever it gets dirty. And make sure you dry thoroughly. Not dry enough? Make sure you always recycle as well. Now you may be wondering why I've been taking such excellent care of this case. Well, the answer is that uh, this machine has actually been on my channel before. Maybe you'll recognize this motherboard. Anyway, this is an old AMD system that I discovered by the side of the road, actually by the side of the highway. Um, and as you can see, it's been kind of smashed up by the impact at 60 miles an hour or whatever. But it still worked, so I decided to keep it uh, as a workshop computer. But then I got to thinking, well, a smashed up computer uh, is pretty cool. And an uh, Aussie 50 has one uh, that he said he's going to play some games on and things like that and leave in a smashed up state. But I figured, why not take this a step further? Let's make it a really smashed up computer. Like as, it's been, as if it's been sitting outside for, you know, 10 years or something like that. Clearly I couldn't do that with a motherboard. But I could do it with the case. So what I did is I uh, took some hydrochloric acid. That was a liquid I was pouring on uh, at the beginning of this video. Dumped that all over the place. Let that sit for a while. Uh, rinsed that off. And then I put a mixture of uh, vinegar and uh, salt. And just dribbled it on there and let it dry on top. And then I left the case outside for a couple weeks <laughs> in uh, rainy Seattle. And this is the damage. Uh, that has occurred. So I'm going to mount this uh, this board back in here and uh, show you what it looks like. It's you know what kind of what you would imagine it to look like, but uh, it should be pretty cool. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> what a masterpiece! <laughs> so I've got a 40 gig drive in there. Uh, you know, random power supply that I found. Had to try had to try two of them. And uh, that's the only one that worked. Anyways, got 768 uh, megs of RAM. Fan can spin freely. Well-engineered power button. Hooked up to a screen. Got a keyboard. Let's see what happens. Well. Anything true? Oh, yeah. There we go. Cool. Let's see if it boots. Oh, date time not set. Okay, fine. Let's put it in. Oh yeah, there it goes. Oh, I've also got WinXP on here. And Gentoo. I don't recall putting Gentoo on here. Alright, let's boot Gentoo. Man, I'm getting old. 25 and I'm already forgetting everything. Huh. All right, well, cool, it works. Let me put this in its place of honor up there. Next to the bacon lollipop, my sister got this for me. My vegetarian sister. I'm vegetarian too, and uh, it's a, you know, we shared a little laugh. All artificial flavoring. I don't even want to open this thing. But uh, anyways, I'll stick it up there and we can see it in action. And here it is in its proud place on top of my racks. And just for fun, I'm playing some doom on it. There's no speakers, so you can't hear anything. Nightmare. Yes. I don't remember the keys on Steam. What are the keys? Ah. Uh, um. Here, shoot me. Ah. Uh, trying all the keys. Oh, what was that? Oh, it was control. Of course it was control. Oh, man. <laughs> Playing this one-handed is difficult. This isn't working. I can't turn. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, there it is. It works. Cool. Oh, for Pete's sake, this guy killed me from behind. All right, well, at least that's a good impression of what the computer looks like. 
This machine is more powerful than I thought with its integrated graphics. It's playing Half-Life perfectly fine. A suitable background of miscellaneous rust and machinery and things. And some flare. Awesome. Look at that beautiful face. Come on, there it is. Yes. So yeah, the goal for this machine is to just have a, you know, decent uh, workshop PC for uh, working with, you know, things like the Bus Pirate for, you know, microcontroller programming, uh, to drive my Ultimaker, and uh, things like that. Uh, maybe do some data logging, you know, various things that I don't want to have my main PC uh, dealing with, but, uh, you know, a nice quiet machine like this is, is well suited for. Also, it has a nice hardware um, serial and parallel port available, so if I need to do any hacking that way, I have it there. This thing does actually have a, a serial hardware serial port built into it, it on a header, and I have it brought out to the back with a, uh, whatever you call it, faceplate, whatever, you know, a PCI slot thing. Uh, but it doesn't have a parallel port, so this one does. Cool. Thanks for watching, everyone. And, uh, well, let me know if you have any ideas for weathering that, uh, that PCD, at least uh, in a visual way, not necessarily in a real way, because, you know, that would be bad.